Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is a kind of impromptu um, video that I decided to make today. I'm 23 years old, uh, so April the 23rd, St George's Day um, is my birthday and what I decided I was going to do um, to celebrate 23 years of this mortal coil, I'm now in my second year of med school, uh, what I decided I was going to do is have a look at um, my photos from the last year and basically I've picked my favorite one from every month so beginning with uh, April 2018 so my last kind of the month of my last birthday through till now so I'm going to bring them up on screen and I'm just going to kind of have a reflect on some of the big things that have happened in the past year um, I feel so old <laughs> um, and just kind of see what's happened basically so forgive me because I'm just looking on my phone um, here, but this first one was taken uh, the 18th of April 2018 and this is when I was sat revising in the Jefferson Gardens which are in Leamington Spa. It's a really really lovely huge garden um, and it was a really bright bright day of sunshine and I remember um, being sat basically next to these flower beds in front of this fountain that you can see because uh, April I was preparing for the first year exams, which I think were in June. Um, so we were really, you know, a good month of study out and I was terrified. But I just really remember the stress of that period. If you look at the videos I was making at that time, I looked so kind of frantic and frazzled. Um, and I'm sure in a few short months when I'm about to sit my second year exams, I'll be feeling the same way again. May 2018, I met uh, Adam Kay, one of the amateur transplants, um, author of the bestseller This Is Going To Hurt, which I gave away two copies of recently on the channel. Um, Adam came to do a talk at the med school. Well, actually, it was at the, the Warwick Arts Centre. A load of us from the med school went over there to go and see him, and he kind of gave a talk about his career in medicine. It was, it was more medically focused than the shows that he normally puts on, but um, me and Adam had spoken a bit, uh, kind of through Twitter, recognised each other, went for a drink after the show, and he got me uh, two tickets that evening for his show that he was doing at the Arts Centre, his full This Is Going To Hurt show. So me and my housemate Emily um, went along, so free tickets to a show really ain't bad. So this next one, which you can see all my kind of million chins on full display. Um, this was when I found out that I passed my first year exams. I've never been more frantic or terrified um, about a set of results before, but uh, this was kind of just when I found out. Um, I made that video that went up at the time and um, my cat Bonnie in the background clearly looking thrilled for me, but I knew I'd made it through the pre-clinical phase of the medical degree and was gonna get onto some actual clinical medicine. So this next one is from July, and this is my, my medic husband, if you like, my medic partner Tom's um, birthday in July. And what we have here is a picture of uh, Richard holding up a kind of piñata cake full of, I think it must have been full of ketogenic, because um, a lot of my course mates do ketogenic diets, um, must have been full of keto-friendly snacks with Tom about to destroy it with a model femur. Um, by the looks of it, which I guess if you were going to pick any model bone to club something where the femur is a good choice. Then August's photo, this is kind of a sad one, um, but it happened obviously a while ago now. This is my dog um, Toby, who sadly uh, died not long after this was taken. But while I was home um, for the holidays, I, uh, I had this little sort of mock GoPro camera and I found a dog collar mount for it, like a harness thing. So um, I kind of strapped it to his collar and uh, I just remember we went out for a walk and the first thing he did when we got to this kind of river that was running nearby was jump in and shake himself so vigorously that the camera flies off into the water somewhere. Um, he jumps out looking very happy with himself, um, kind of shakes himself off and stuff, but me and my little brother Charlie then have to spend the next couple of hours combing through this the bottom of this river looking for my camera which eventually I did find thankfully and it was still recording but yeah I miss him he was a really really nice dog um, but just in the end a bit kind of arthritic and cancerous and it came to the point where unfortunately we had to have him put down but 
I think ultimately for the best and um, forever a good boy. So this next one is from September of 2018. Um, and this is when we learned to do cannulation. And the reason that this picture is here is because for me, we were now starting to learn these actual practical procedures that meant we could be useful. So when we came back to med school after the summer holidays following first year, we were actually learning these kind of useful hands-on clinical skills. So it just marked a bit of a turning point for me. Then again, we have October of 2018. Again, some of these are a bit strange, but this is the ice cream selection at George Eliot Hospital, which is where I did my first clinical placement. I'm now at University Hospital, um, the kind of major trauma centre that we can rotate in during this part of the course. Um, but we're now on the wards with our clinical partners and um, it just struck me as really odd that a hospital should have this incredible selection of really high quality ice cream, but there you go. Now, November 2018, this was a big one. This was um, when I met my kind of medical hero, if you like, uh, Mr. Henry Marsh. Um, I think this was, it was at Imperial or King's, I can't remember which, one of the, one of the big London colleges. And we've got photos of both myself and my housemate, Ollie, sat with um sat with henry and it, it looks kind of a bit like we're visiting our granddad in a home um but kind of just huge point for me when that happens i'm normally pretty good about meeting new people even kind of relatively famous people i don't tend to get flustered but this time because his book was was basically the thing that convinced me to come to med school um, and particularly sparked an interest in neurosurgery for me, which is what I'm currently pursuing. I remember when I got my book signed, my hands were shaking so much that I couldn't actually open the cover of the book for him to sign it. So he sort of was like, I'll, I'll do that for you and took it off and signed it. But um, it was a really big moment for me. I remember it very vividly. This next one is from December when we ran our MMI day. This was basically a day focused at um, getting kids from the local area into medicine, particularly those from schools who had lower than usual um, entry into medical school. It was basically a widening participation exercise. We're still crunching the data from this day, um, but this is our team here and I couldn't be any prouder of this team than I am. We'll be running this event again this coming year, or well, this year. Um, so people in the Coventry area, th this kind of Coventry, Birmingham, after med school applications have gone in, we'll probably be, well, we will be running it again. We don't know 100% where, but it was a really, really strong success. I've heard from so many parents now um, where their kids got in and they credited our day as being the main reason why they did. So it was a really, really good day. We achieved a lot and I look forward to the next one. I've also, this is the first time that I sort of grew a beard properly and I very clearly don't know what I'm doing. Then the 26th of January 2019, this is from my first neurosurgical conference that I ever went to. This is the NANSIG one, I think, so neurosurgery and neurology kind of interest um, day. So we've got Paul, Abby, myself and Silva. Um, none of us, I think I knew Abby was going, but I didn't know anyone else was going. Uh, Abby is the MedB blog. You can find her pages on social media as well. Really, really recommend you give her stuff a read but we just all bumped into one another at this conference and it was a really nice surprise. This next one, 23rd of February, 2019. This was when I went and met Atusa, who is coming to, I think, yeah, Birmingham Med School in uh, September to start her medical journey. This is the first proper kind of YouTube collaboration I've ever done. So YouTube obviously has been this thing following me through uh, med school. And then because the videos that people like her um, that medic, uh, you know, Karma Medic, all the all the people, Ali Abdal. When you actually get to meet these people, um, kind of one on one and level, particularly on the creator side of things, it's a really really good experience, and I highly recommend trying to do that if you're in the space. Then this last photo, 17th of March, so last month. Um, this is from my first ever neurosurgery that I ever went and saw. So I was asked by one of the registrars um, that I've gotten to know quite well at the hospital if I wanted to come along and observe this day case. Um, it was quite a long operation, but it was a 
decompressive lumbar laminectomies, spinal surgery. Um, I was really excited actually. I think when you think of neurosurgery, you tend to think cranial, but spinal surgery is also incredibly interesting and just as kind of finely detailed as cranial surgery. So as I say, thinking this potentially could be my career, maybe. I'm still waiting to see lots of other specialties, but that's definitely the one that's interested me the most so far. And that was a really special moment to be asked to come in and see what was going on. Which brings us to this month. Um, I've got to show you the birthday cake that my wonderful, wonderful housemates made for me. It's got an accurate ECG on the side. They did it completely under my nose and um, they're just wonderful, wonderful people to live with. So today has been really lovely. Um, I've got a load of really lovely cards from friends and family turned up. This is just one of those opportunities. I just want to get out there again how thankful I am for all of you guys who continue to watch this content, probably against your better judgment. Um, but I genuinely, for what it's worth, I'm feeling very happy at the moment. Um, YouTube's going well for me. I'm kind of in the position where instead of having to, to work, I can produce commissioned videos. I'm obviously working with sponsors and things like that. So doing this thing that I really enjoy, I'm very lucky to, to kind of have that as my, my you know, side gig while I'm studying to become a doctor. Um, so not only am I able to study the thing that I really want to study, I get to call my hobby work um, or, you know, I, I am able to have that sustain me while I'm studying. And that's a really, really wonderful thing to be able to do. But yeah, 23, I'm getting old fast. I'll be 25 when I graduate, finally have a, a real job and get out into the real world. I am not ready to be 23. <laughs> but um, particularly for all of you guys who are wanting to do grad entry medicine, keep plugging away, it's never too old. Um, but just once again, thank you so much guys and I will see you in the next video. Take care, see you at 24.